Trying to stay focused while I'm smoking this weed. Just as outside of there ain't gonna no drink, no, no. You start fresh till you start seven and feet. You wanna do what's good, you too, man. This is your ass here, Rick. Welcome back to Stone Ice TV, man. If you a stoner, this the place to be, man. And I am part of STG, man. And we back at it again with another. Bang! Y'all know what's going on, man. And next up, we got the Daily Divide in Huddersfield. F Block versus Top Sides. Now, um, obviously, I haven't heard of these two clicks before, these two gangs. Uh, first time, probably hearing of these boys, I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna just try to get back to reacting to um, basically anything I can find, bro, in general. Because, uh, like I said, it's always good to react to stuff like this. Some things you don't know, some things you learn. So, it is what it is, man. Like I said, I appreciate the support, appreciate the love. Uh, Y'all boys, for the get right to the video, y'all new to the channel, y'all make sure y'all leave a like on the video, make sure y'all comment down below for the video that I'm gonna to next, and y'all make sure y'all please hit the subscribe button, bro. And for the this video. We got the Deadly Divine. Divide. In Huddersville, F Block versus Top Side. Let's see what he's talking about on here. It's my, my boy. In recent years, we have seen the rise of drill music coming out of the UK drill club, bro. Huddersfield, with rappers like Booter B making a huge noise in the scene. However, what a lot of drill fans are unaware of is the ongoing war in Huddersfield between two street gangs. Huddersfield is even known to have a massive gun crime problem, with news channels labeling it an epidemic. With broad day shootings and stabbings playing out between two gangs, those. Wait, you said that's what Booter B from, right? I think I heard. It. I think I heard you something. Else. That's what Booter B. Booter B from. F Block and Top Sides. F Block is a street gang based in Fartown and parts of Berkby within North Huddersfield around the HD2 postcode. Fartown is notoriously known as the worst part of Huddersfield, with it even being labeled a war zone by residents living there. The F Block gang has been around for nearly two decades, with F Block even having traces back to the early 2000s. However, they would only refer to themselves as F Block in recent years, due to them starting to drop music. F Block mainly beef Top Sides, Dalton Drillas, and Berkby, which has become very deadly in recent years. F Block also has an alliance with Walpole or Wally, which is another street gang based within Huddersfield. In recent years, we would see F Block blow in the drill scene with a young rapper named Booter B exploding on the scene. Now, top. Okay, okay, F Block. Okay, Booter B is from F Block. Okay, okay, okay. Sides is a gang also based around the HD2 postcode within North Huddersfield. However, Top Sides is split into three different subsets, with the younger generation going by RSK and Uptop nowadays. However, the original generation goes by BBD, which stands for Black Bandana Gang. These three sets make up the Top Sides gang. Top Sides is based around Brackenhall, Sheepbridge, Dayton, and Bradley. Whilst Top Sides don't have many rappers, the rappers they do have are seriously hard and definitely deserve some recognition. A lot of Top Sides rappers don't really drop songs much, with a Lot of their music being leaked. Around 2018, Top Sides would start beefing Wally or Walpole, which was close with F Block. Top Sides would also beef Dalton Drillas around this time. Following this, F Block, Wally, and Dalton would decide to form an alliance. However, this wouldn't last long, and Top Sides would declare a full on war between the gangs. F Block members would start to distance themselves from Dalton members around this time, as they saw them as responsible for starting the war. This meant Wally and F Block would beef Dalton and also beef Top Sides. This then resulted in Dalton being a renegade gang, meaning they had. Have no allies and beef all of the gangs yeah. in Huddersfield. Now stabbings and shootings would play out between Top Sides and F Block, with a lot of these shootings playing out in broad daylight. So much so that around the late 2010s, F Block would even start referring to themselves as BDG or Broad Day Gang due to them carrying out shootings and stabbings on ops in broad daylight. It would be around 2018 that one of the most notorious incidents would occur between the gangs. Now Top Sides boss named LM and other Top Side members would catch a prominent member of F Block named Booter B. They would attempt to shoot at him, however the gun would allegedly jam with the top side members fleeing. Around 30 minutes later, F Block would look for retaliation and a member would spot LM and shoot him in the head on camera. However, the bullet would graze his head and he would luckily survive. This incident is often referred to in recent Booter B songs. Oh, that's what Booter I just said that too in my last Booter B video, bro. I just said that. I was like, yo, who the fuck is Booter B talking about, bro? 
And he did say something about uh, cracking at a nigga dome too. They give my belt, they try to kill at me in their field. They kill us something with stick. But why? Within 30 minutes, their boss got slapped on the shot of the show. It was me. It would be around our. Oh, then he said it was me that did that. <laughs> 2019, that we would start to see F Block members starting to make music. They would drop a rude cipher titled F Block Block Cipher. This included many different F Block members freestyling. They would refer to the shooting of LM multiple times on this song and would even reference another incident where another opposition member would be stabbed with his girlfriend. Hey, remember that day in Brex when he got knifed? Man tried to put his girlfriend's life. I don't try to come to my side to stick. Drill fans would start to notice F Block as their bars were seriously rude. The cipher would do good considering this was F Block's first appearance in the drill scene and it currently sits on 428,000 views following this f block y'all saying i should i go react to that y'all boys i don't know would it be i thought it would be though would really be consistent with music with most of the members focusing on the streets with f block alone even making up oh wait that is would be side that is, that is, I, I should go check that out that is would be side out of the knife and gun crime within Huddersfield, with F Block even allegedly shooting one of their own members around 2019 due to internal disputes separating the gang into two sub gangs, which in recent years we have seen popular F Block member Booter B rap about. It would be around 2020 where Booter B would be jailed, as we wouldn't see any more music following the F Block cipher. Top sides would also be quiet around this time, however, they would still carry out deadly attacks on any rivals, with them also being a big contributor to the gun crime within West Yorkshire. However, a lot of their members were pretty unknown as they didn't really rap around this time however we would see the beef explode into i ain't gonna lie that's how you supposed to do it though bro if you getting down in the streets bro you can't do both all right you can't rap and like you can but one of them shit's gonna catch up with you for 2020 <laughs> On the 19th of December, 2020, Jams, who was an F-Block member, would be taking his mum to work. However, what Jams didn't know was that three Berkby gang members would be looking to kill. They had scouted out Jams's house the day before and would be waiting outside his house for him. Jams would be sitting in his car outside of his house waiting for his mum. When the Berkby members would spot him, they would fire multiple shots into his car. Jams would be hit numerous times. Police and emergency services would be called to the scene. Paramedics would try their best to save Jams. However, sadly, he would be pronounced dead on the scene. A murder investigation would be launched following this. Originally, four men were arrested for the murder. Police would connect these men to the crime, and later in 2022, they would all be found guilty and be jailed, with three of the four men getting a life sentence. Rest in peace, Jams. F-Block would be looking for retaliation following the murder of Jams, and only days later, they would find their retaliation. Only days later... Oh, them so old-ass niggas, too. I peeped that, and Buddha B said that. He said, nigga, the youngers, man, because I slapped the olders. I slapped at the olders. F-Block members would be lurking and looking for ops. They would spot a Berkby member named Tooch standing outside of a mosque and would shoot him multiple times. Tooch would be hit in the head by the oncoming bullets, with him being killed on the scene and paramedics arriving moments later. However, luckily, Tooch would be revived by the paramedics and would survive the attack. This incident is also often referenced in recent F-Block songs. Only 10 days after the death of Jams on the 29th of December 2020, Booter B, who hadn't dropped any music at all in 2020, would return to the drill scene with a hood's hottest freestyle. Fans would start noticing that Booter B was talking real grease in his songs, and fans would also start commenting on how hard he sounded on drill beats. Booter B was steadily growing a fan base. 2021 would begin, with the violence in the streets still continuing, and dozens of articles being published surrounding broad day shootings and stabbings playing out between the gangs. And in August 2021, Booter would return to the drill scene again, after not dropping for eight months. He would return with a song titled No Point. The music video to this song was even filmed on their op block. In December 2021, Booter would link up with Pac-Man TV and release a hotspot freestyle, which would gain a lot of attention and currently sits at just under 1 million views. However, Booter wasn't done there, and 10 days later on the 16th of December, he would drop a song on mixtape Madness titled Blanks, where he dissed Topsides, Berkby, and Dalton for attempting to shoot him with Blanks. 2022 would begin, and we would start to see Topsides rapping again. That nigga Booter B went to drop him left and right angle cap. He went to go crazy, bro, after he got out. The younger generation going by RSK starting to drop songs. In May 2022, two members of RSK named YC and Lurks would drop a song named Risk It Avenue, where they would diss F Block and other rivals. Top sides would be somewhat consistent, with rappers like YC really putting on for RSK around this time. At the start of August 2022, F Block members would spot a Top Sides member named Nino outside of a men's club. The F Block members would draw knives and start to attack Nino. One of the F Block members would thrust his knife towards Nino, resulting in his hand 
hand being chopped off. Eyewitnesses said that his hand was twitching on the floor following the stabbing. The F Block members would flee following this attack, with a 17 year old boy being arrested shortly after the attack. However, I can't find if this person was charged or not. Booter B would be blowing up around this time, gaining hundreds of new fans every day. However, what no one was expecting was that the next person would be killed due to the beef during this time. Damn. Damn, getting his hand chopped off is crazy. That must have been a big ass knife. On the 15th of August, 2022, Javs, who was a Topsides member, would be at a street party on Claremont Road, Moss Side, which was located in Manchester. During the early hours, members of Wally named JD and Capo would spot Javs, who was standing with friends. The boys standing with Javs would fire off a firearm toward JD and Capo. However, the bullet would miss and hit the floor. Capo and JD would respond with knives and would chase down Javs. Javs would be stabbed five times by the pair. JD and Capo would flee the scene following the stabbing, and paramedics and police would be called to the scene. Javs would be rushed to hospital. However, he would die whilst being treated in the hospital. A murder investigation would be launched following this. With all of the members from both opposing groups going on to be arrested, JD and Cap O would also be arrested. They would be charged for the murder of Javs and would be found guilty. JD, who was a Wally member, would be sentenced to life with a minimum of 21 years. And Capo would be sentenced to life with a minimum of 20 years. Rest in peace, Javs. It would be around August 2022 when Booter B would find himself fresh home from jail after previously going to jail in May three months earlier. Whilst it's unknown why he went to jail, he does reference being charged with three attempted murders, but beating the cases a lot in his songs following this. You are not the same. Took the AM to trial and never lost the case. I see the look. I got back three attempted murders. I shoot. My mouth never said one word. But I'm Booter B would be released shortly after the death of Javs and would drop a song named BNB or Back and Better, where he would rap about jail and how his fans kept telling him to focus on me. Yo. Yeah, man. I'm trying to call where I'm from because my, uh, I left my second crib, like. Alright, yeah. Okay, I'll set them the 25, too. Alright, so I got both of this one. I think I'm about to go to phone. Oh, okay. Well, shit, I would tell, I'd test that bitch, you know, like, brother, than me. I don't like this, but I don't like the code. It's, it's, it's 25, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. Appreciate it. That's up, you say it, bro. Too. Yeah, yo. Going crazy. It's crazy though. So all right, bro. BNB, or Back and Better, where he would rap about jail and how his fans kept telling him to focus on music, which it looked like Booter was ready to do. The violence would continue to play out in the streets, and under a month after the death of Jobs, another person would be killed as a result of the rivalry. On the 21st of September 2022, a 15-year-old member of Topsides named YR would be on his way home from school with friends in Huddersfield, when two young members of F Block named Slim and Jugga would be waiting to ambush him. They had dressed into black clothes and had prepared face masks. When YR would walk past Slim and Jugga, the two F Block members would jump out and stab YR multiple times. Slim and Jugga would flee the scene following this incident. YR's friends would try and help him. They would call emergency services who would arrive on the scene moments later. However, despite their best attempts to save YR, he would sadly be pronounced dead two hours later in hospital. Meaning yet again, another murder investigation would be launched. The two killers who weren't able to be named due to them being 15 and 17 at the time would be arrested not long after the murder. They would be found guilty and would be sentenced to life with a minimum of 16 and 18 years each. After the sentencing, right. their names and faces would actually be released to the public. Rest in peace. 15, 17, them niggas getting out when they like 30 something, almost 40, 30 something years old. That's crazy, bro. No cap. YR. My condolences go out to his family. During the rest of 2022, Huddersfield would basically be on fire, with it being normal to see shootings and stabbings happening daily. This much violence in Huddersfield would result in the crime rate soaring to 136% in comparison to London's crime rate of 87%. Booter B would release six different songs following his release in August 2022, which is good consistency, and would result in Booter blowing in 2022, with new and old drill fans all starting to notice him and the Huddersfield drill scene. 2023 
would start, with Booter B dropping a UK drill banger titled Strawberry Daiquiri, which was seriously hard, and on the 9th of February would drop a song featuring Mastermind. However, only days later, another person would fall victim to the streets. On the 20th of February, 2023, a 17-year-old named Harley Brown, nicknamed Drips, was an alleged member of Wally, which was a gang allied with F Block. Anyways, Harley would be standing near a 24-hour shop on Colne Street within Huddersfield and would spot two boys who were Dalton gang members. Anyways, the two boys aged 16 and 14 would chase Harley onto Maple Street where they would catch up and stab him multiple times. The attackers would flee and Harley would stagger onto Kings Mill Lane. Harley would be taken to hospital. However, he was sadly pronounced dead in hospital hours later. Following the attack, a murder investigation would be launched with the 14-year-old being arrested hours later during the day and the 16-year-old being arrested two days later on the 22nd of February, 2023. Both of the teens would be facing murder charges, with them both pleading not guilty. However, in December 2023, both teens would be found guilty. The younger boy would be given 10 years, and the older boy would be given 14 years. Rest in peace, Harley Brown, or Drips. Harley Brown would move from Deptford and get right out too. London to Huddersfield around 2020, as his mum had fears he was being groomed into drug gangs in Deptford. My condolences go out to Harley's friends and family. Following this incident, Booter B would drop his first EP, featuring five songs. These songs had one feature from fellow F Block member GR, who we have also seen start to make music following this. Booter B wouldn't stop at an EP though, with him dropping a daily duppy and a mad about bars to end the year. And as 2024 began, he would drop a 16 track album featuring rappers T Way, Hetty One, Still Brickin', SL, and We Want Ray which just shows how well-known Booter B has become in recent years. If you have learned anything from this video, make sure it's to not involve yourself with the road life, as it really only leads to two options, those being jail or death, with it just being an endless cycle of violence that will never stop. Rest in peace, everyone, in this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah, man. Shout out to my boy, K Drill Plug, bro. It's a lot going on, bro. So much. Shout out to Booter B. Uh, hopefully all that... You know, to kill and die down. But we know that shit just an up and down thing, bro. So, yeah. But that's it for the video. Y'all boys, make sure y'all leave a like on the video. Make sure y'all comment down below for the video. Drop me out to next. Y'all make sure y'all please hit the subscribe button, bro. And we out, man. Stormlight TV.